क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hello friends. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about the Stefan reaction. Along with that, of we have discussed about that is how we can convert an alkyl cyanide into an aldehyde using the reducing agent that is diisobutyl aluminum hydride. And now, in this topic, basically, we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare aldehyde as well as ketone by converting nitrile using Grignard reagent. So this is how we are going to prepare that is aldehydes and ketones using Grignard reagent. So let us discuss about this topic and let us understand that is how the reaction. So in this topic we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare an aldehyde as well as ketone. So let us discuss about that is how we can prepare aldehyde using Grignard reagent. So talking about the aldehyde that is what we have to prepare. So for that we are using hydrogen cyanide that is HCl. So whenever HCN is been treated with a Grignard reagent and this is what I am going to represent about the general reaction. So the Grignard reagent can be represented as R dash Mg X. But this reaction it reacts in presence of a dry ether. So that's the reason that the solvent is nothing but the dry ether which is nothing but a solvent. So this is how basically the reaction it will form an imine complex or that is also known as adduct. So here basically the R dash it will attach on the carbon atom while the rest of the MgX it will be attached to the nitrogen atom. So that is how we will get that is R dash carbon having one H and this will be this triple bond it will be converted into a double bond and this is N MgX. So this is a complex or so this is known as adduct that has been formed over here but the reaction doesn't stops here because this is not the main product that we have to get and that is how basically the reaction proceeds with acid hydrolysis and that is how basically the product that we will get that is it is R dash C H double bond O and the rest of the byproduct is I would write over here as M G X O H along with that of that is NH4OH. So this is the product that we have got over here and the main product that we have got is basically an aldehyde. So suppose if we have to prepare an aldehyde obviously we have to use hydrogen cyanide. So if you use hydrogen cyanide then only and if that undergoes a reaction with the Grignard agent then we could obtain an aldehyde. So let me discuss about the example here. So suppose if we have considered that is hydrogen cyanide. And suppose if it reacts with the Grignard reagent and that Grignard reagent is nothing but CH3 MgCl suppose or we could also consider as MgBr. So this Grignard reagent is basically known as methyl magnesium chloride. So whenever methyl magnesium chloride or a Grignard reagent it reacts with HCN obviously an imine complex has been formed. So that is so this CH3 it will attached to the carbon while the rest of the MgX it will be attached to the nitrogen atom over here. So therefore we could get that is CH3. This is C and this was the hydrogen atom that was been attached to the carbon atom over here. And this will be a double bond nitrogen and this is MgCl. So this is the complex or this is an intermediate that is been formed and that is known as adduct. But this reaction proceed in presence of dry ether as a solvent. So now this reaction will further undergo acid hydrolysis that is in presence of H3O plus and now the main thing is we will obtain an aldehyde. So in this case that is CH3 C along with this H hydrogen atom over here and now this double bond would be occupied with the oxygen atom and the rest of the thing or rest of the byproduct if I would say that is that would be MgClOH and the other one would be NH3. So this is the main product that we have got over here and that is an aldehyde and the name of this aldehyde is basically acetaldehyde. So that is how we can prepare not only acetaldehyde but any aldehyde but only if we are using that is hydrogen cyanide and we are reacting with a Grignard reagent. So that is how we can obtain an aldehyde. So now let us understand the next one. So now we are going to discuss about that is how we can prepare ketones using Grignard reagent. So this is what I am going to talk about that is how we can prepare ketone using Grignard reagent. So for that we have to use an alkyl cyanide and that is how I am representing over here is suppose if we have considered that is RCN 
and that RCN is being reacted with the Grignard reagent that is R-MgX. Obviously, that should be in presence of uh, a solvent and that is nothing but a dry ether or we could call it as a solvent that has been used over here. So again, the reaction is very much similar to that of the previous one that we have did. So it will be nothing but R. See, this R group, it will be attached to the carbon atom over here. So therefore, this will be R dash. While the rest of the thing, it will be C double bond N MgX. So this is the product that we have formed over here and that is basically known as adductor. Again, the reaction is very much similar that we have did earlier. That is, it will undergo the acid hydrolysis process. And that is how we could obtain, that is R, C, R dash, as you could see over here. And now there will be double bond O. While the rest of the thing, it would be the same or the same byproduct that we have obtained in the previous one. That is, it will be Mg, X, O, H, along with that of, that is, NH3. But we are concerned with the main product and the main product is nothing but here is keto so this is how we can obtain ketone but instead of using hcn we will use alkyl cyanide so this was a general reaction that i have represented over here and now let me discuss about an example so that it would be very much clearer that is how a ketone is been obtained so suppose if we consider that is methyl cyanide that is ch3 cn and suppose that reacts with that is C2H5 MgBr or it could be also called as ethyl magnesium bromide. Obviously this will react in presence of that is dry ether and the product that we would form that is an imine complex or that is known as adduct. So that is nothing but I would write it over here as CH3C and instead of C2H5 or instead of R dash, I will write it over here as C2H5 and this will be double bond N MgBr. But obviously, this will undergo a reaction that is known as uh, it will undergo acid hydrolysis process, and that is how basically we are using dilute HCl solution. And the main product that we could get over here is CH3 C C2H5 double bond O along with that of the byproducts, and that are uh, nothing but MgBrOH along with that of that is NH3. So this is how we have obtained a ketone and the name of this ketone is in terms of common name it could be known as ethyl methyl ketone or in terms of an IEPC name it could be called as butanone. So this is how we can prepare aldehyde as well as ketone by using Grignard reagent along with that of suppose if we have to prepare aldehyde we have to use HCN and suppose if we have to prepare ketone then we have to use an alkyl cyanide. So this is how we can prepare aldehyde and ketone by this process. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. So till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.